May 3rd was supposed to be Youth Sunday. May 3rd was supposed to be the day that the senior class, the class of 2020, was going to lead our congregation in worship. We were going to gather in the sanctuary and the gathering place, and they were going to remind us who Christ is and who Christ calls us to be. But we're not. We're not going to have Youth Sunday on May 3rd. We're not going to have Youth Sunday the way we were supposed to. Add that to a long list of supposed to's, maybe especially for this class of 2020, things that were supposed to happen but aren't. And I gotta tell you, I'm pretty sad about it. And so my challenge to you is this, to think about what your supposed to list is. What were the things that were supposed to happen in your life that haven't happened and that aren't going to happen? And then I want you to share it with each other. And when you figure out who it is that you want to share your supposed to list with, whether it's on the phone with your friends or a family member, your parents maybe, your siblings, they're going to try to make it better. And so they're going to say things like, well, at least you don't have to take exams, or at least you don't have COVID-19, or at least you get to spend all this time with your family, or, but it could be worse. And they're just trying to make it better, but they can't. And so when you find the person you want to share your supposed to list with, say, hey, I don't want you to try to make it better. I just want you to acknowledge it with me. When Jesus visited Mary and Martha after their brother Lazarus had died, he didn't say, at least I'm going to raise him from the dead. <laughs> he didn't say, but it could be worse. He wept with them. And so my invitation to you is to find that person you want to share these supposed to things with and then weep together if you need to. We're not going to have you Sunday on May 3rd. Instead, we're going to have a video from seniors coming toward you, like on Instagram, or uh, we'll send it to you the email, or it could be through, through the church's social media platform. But it'll be all about the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, generosity, self-control. I may have missed a few. But you'll be getting a video of seniors trying to encourage you in your faith. Instead of having you Sunday on May 3rd, we're going to have these videos coming out towards you. And it's my hope that as you should share your supposed to list with one another, and as you experience this encouragement from these seniors, that you'll remember that God's up to something, and you're a part of it.